the reappointment of Kathy Brannigan and Amanda Neely to the Pales Park Board of Trustees with a term to expire June 1st of 2027. Uh, second. Having a motion and a second, would the clerk please call the roll? Yes. 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 We have no hearings on the agenda, so I'll move to the consent agenda. All items on the consent agenda are routine or have been brought forward at the direction of the Board of Commissioners and will be enacted with one motion. If discussion is desired, that item will be removed from the consent agenda and considered separately. A, to pass a resolution authorizing the village clerk to make certain closed session meetings available for public inspection. First review 2023. The resolution states the village has reviewed closed session minutes and determined that the need for confidentiality still exists as to the ex executive session minutes set forth on exhibit C. B, to approve the True Value Foundation raffle licenses and raffle manager bond waivers for two raffles to be held at their fundraiser event on June 29, 2023 at Cog Hill Golf and Country Club. Item C, to adopt an ordinance declaring certain personal property owned by the village as surplus and authorizing the sale of same. The ordinance states the village has a 2010 Ford Crown Vic a 2009 Ford Escape, a 2006 Ford F-350, and a 2013 Ford Explorer, which are no longer necessary or useful, and the best interest of the village would be served by the sale of said property at next available auction at Ritchie Brothers in Morris, Illinois, for the best price offered, a sale to a private party, and to the junkyard. D to approve payment of invoices on the warrant list dated June 12, 2023 in the amount of $272,208.19 and E, to approve payment of invoices on the warrant list dated June 12, I'm not sure that's the right date, yep, June 12, 2023 in the amount of 589307.92. Would anybody like to make a motion to approve the consent agenda? So moved. I will second. Hearing a motion is second. Would the clerk please call the roll? Commissioner Wade? Yes. Commissioner Fitan? Yes. Commissioner Polk? Yes. Mayor Millibich Walters? Yes. Are there any items of old business that anybody would like to bring up? If not, we'll move on to board, commission, and committee recommendations. And I will pass this over to Commissioner Wade. Uh, thanks, Mayor. Um, the agenda matter, an application has been filed requesting a text amendment to section 1280 spot 08, non-conforming uses and exceptions, and section 1260 spot 03 of the village code. The proposed text amendment involves legal non-conforming uses in buildings located at Cog Hill and Ludwood Farms. The subject properties are commonly known as 12294 South, Ar uh, South Archer Avenue, uh, Cog Hill Golf and Country Club, and 13235 to 13305 West 131st Street, Ludwig Farm, both in Palos Park. The proposed text amendments pertain to legal non-conforming uses in buildings at Cog Hill and Ludwig Farms. The proposed text amendments are necessary due to the nature of the annexation of the properties, which did not involve an annexation agreement. An annexation agreement would typically have been part of an annexation and would have addressed issues of non-conforming uses in buildings. Due to litigation, the property owners elected to forego an annexation agreement and annex directly into the village. With both the property owners and the village council aware, these issues would need to be addressed at a further date, at a future date. As such, the legal representatives for Cog Hill and, Lud and Ludwig Farm have been working with the village attorney on proposed text amendments to address non-conforming uses and buildings. Uh, the plan commission did hold a public hearing and discuss the uh, requested variances at its May 18th, 2023 meeting. Representatives from Cog Hill gave a presentation and responded to questions from the plan commission. A motion was made to recommend approval of the requested text amendment the vote on the motion was five yes and zero no on the requests. Are there any questions? 
No questions. Just was going to mention um, that this this is regarding um, that the amendment states that uses, buildings, and structures that were in place at the time of the annexation in February of 2016 can continue to exist. So that's basically what we're talking right. about, just so people know. Uh, with that, I move to approve Ordinance 2023-14, an ordinance amending Part 12, Title 6, Chapter 1260, Section 1260, Spot 03, and Chapter 1280, Section 1280, Spot 08 of the Pales Park Village Code to accept the Coghill and Ludwig Farm properties from certain portions of the Pales Park Vill Village Code requirements relative to non-conforming uses. We'll second that motion. Hearing a motion and a second, would the clerk, oh, is there any other discussion? If not, clerk, please call the roll. Uh, Commissioner Wade? Yes. Commissioner Patan? Yes. Commissioner Polk? Yep. Mayor Milovich Walters? Yes. Thank you very much, Commissioner Wade. Next, we'll move on to information and updates. Public Works, Streets, and Recreation Report, Commissioner Patan. Thank you, Mayor. All right, um, for the public works, um, so we have a water booster station that's located on 125th Street that was installed back in 2001. Um, so it's, it's, it's underground, and the interior <coughs> of the station is showing uh, some signs of wear and some rusting. Um, so the public works department sought out some proposal for <coughs> qualified uh, with experience painting um, for underground booster stations, and three proposals were received. Um, one was from La, uh, uh, Coyer, uh, painting and decorating for $22,000. Um, another proposal <coughs> they received was from GP Maintenance Services Incorporated for $10,850. And then finally, Nicholas Painting Contractors Incorporated for $10,710. Um, so the Public Works is asking the council to approve this proposal from Nicholas Painting Contractors Incorporated. Um, and there will be money in the water fund, um, a budget to pay for this project. Um, so uh, if there's no questions about that, I would like to make a motion to approve the proposal from Nicholas Painting Contractors Incorporated in the amount of $10,710 to paint the interior of the water booster station located on 125th Street. Uh, I'll second that. Hearing a motion in the second, would the clerk please call the roll? Yes, uh, Commissioner Pitan. Yes. Commissioner Wade? Yes. Commissioner Polk? Yep. And Mayor Milovich Walters? Yes. Uh, moving on to, oh, do you have announcements? I do have announcements, Sorry. but before recreation, I just wanted to make a quick mention about um, the water quality report was sent out and in your mailboxes. It was a blue sheet of paper. So if you haven't received one, it is on the village website. Um, you can always call the village um, with help with that, but it's a nice little summer reading. But everything's good. So we got that in the mail. Okay, moving on, uh, recreation news. Um, the biggest news, obviously, is this week is our concert in the park, Thursday, June 15th. It is the summer kickoff series, um, and the grounds will be open around 6. I know some people start showing up at 5.30 to get their spot. Um, and the concert will be uh, from 7 to 9, and it's the Flat Cats, and they are a jazz sort of swing type band, um, a lot of fun. Um, so I want to also say thank you to the Palis Park Fine Arts for their continued partnership in this program. It's a cooperation between the village and, and the fine arts, and they always have wonderful um, scholarships that they give out to junior and seniors um, who are pursuing a music uh, career, future career in the fine arts. Um, food will be available for Under the Gazebo, and this is to a bring your own seat concert or a blanket, pack your own food, adult beverages. Um, it's a, one of the funnest events. I've enjoyed it for the last 30 years. It's a great time to come out and meet your neighbors, friends, um, 
and the weather's supposed to be perfect, so that's always a plus. So come on out, concert in the park, six o'clock, and then music from seven to nine. And that is this Thursday, and I hope to see you there. Um, second, we have the Kids Zone Summer Camp. Um, the summer camp is another great opportunity for kids to meet friends and parents to meet friends in the neighborhood. You could be active, have fun. Um, although session one of Kids Zone Summer Camp is underway, there is still three day and five day available and for the rest of our summer sessions. Um, continuing on with uh, similar summer programs coming up, we will be having youth athletics such as soccer, tennis, basketball, and all starting soon. Uh, make sure you get registered so instructors can plan accordingly. Um, and don't forget, non-athletic events are coming up later this month, too, featuring a youth improv and an orchestral youth uh, strings camp. And for the adults, our first pickleball, pickleball social dinks and drinks is set for Friday, July 11th. Um, that's from 6 to 7.30 p.m., so come out and play a few games in a fun beginner environment. Uh, equipment will be provided with instruction on hand to, and hand to help on with the rules, and there'll be with scoring and other gameplay questions that participants will have. And that is my report, Mayor. Excellent, thank you, Commissioner Patan. Moving on to building and public property report, Commissioner Wade. Uh, thank you. The Real quick, carbon monoxide safety, the building department would like to advise residents to change the batteries in your carbon monoxide and smoke detectors. If you do not currently have a carbon monoxide detector, please consider getting one. Illinois state law requires that every home be equipped with at least one carbon monoxide alarm within 15 feet of every bedroom. Additional detectors on every level of your home provide extra protection against carbon monoxide poisoning. Uh, in the permit, uh, permit department, the building department processed 19 permits from May 16th to June 6th, resulting in $6,596.30. Uh, uh, that brings our fiscal year to date to a total of $10,134.70. And that concludes my report. Excellent. Thank you, Commissioner Wade. Public Health and Safety Report, Commissioner Polk. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, we'll start with the police activity report from the 29th of May through the 11th of June, the year of our Lord, 2023. 1,931 calls per service, so that's about uh, typical. We average about 1,000 a week. Uh, 23 assist, citizens assist calls, say that three times fast. 18 case reports, and unfortunately, nine accident reports. We uh, arrested a single adult. Fortunately, no juveniles, didn't impound any vehicles. Made 109 traffic stops, 35 of which uh, were moving violations, an additional six adjudication tickets, and 80 speeding tickets. So that's what the Pales Park Police Department's been up to over the last couple of weeks. And then I just have a couple of uh, quick announcements. Uh, I wanna thank everybody who uh, came out um, I forget when we did this, well, a week and a half or so ago, uh, for the uh, uh, lunch at Cog Hill from the Pales Park Police Department and the citizens' participation. It was a lively discussion, and uh, I'd encourage you guys to uh, feel free to uh, join any of the social events that we have. The next Coffee with a Cop is June the 21st at the Plush Horse. And then uh, there is also a coffee with the chief on the last Friday of the month at uh, 7 p.m. here in the uh, Captor Center. So again, these are terrific opportunities. If you've got an issue or a question or a complaint or a suggestion or you just want a nice cup of coffee or a lunch, um, keep your eyes posted. All of these things are on social media and we usually put out posts well in advance. I know the coffee with the cop post has been up for a couple of weeks, so again, Coffee with the Cop, Plush Horse, 11 a.m. Uh, on Wednesday the 21st. That's a week from uh, this Wednesday. So uh, feel free to join us. And then um, <laughs> Chief Miller and his acronyms. Uh, 
so I want to uh, announce that uh, we have another project that we're working on in town called Stop It, which stands for Scams Target Older People, and through awareness, we can intercept thieves. So basically, it's a, a, another um, a educational opportunity to talk about scams and crimes, particularly as the uh, seasons change and we get into warmer weather, the uh, process of trying to take money out of your pocket changes as well. So again, um, just a quick synopsis. Uh, our offenders typically target our vulnerable elderly residents. Uh, unfortunately, many of these residents feel embarrassed at falling victim to the scams. So please, the first thing we'd ask is if you've been approached um, uh, and uh, you feel like something isn't right, first of all, you can always, 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 always call us and we'd be happy to check people out for you. Um, you're not going to miss the deal of the month by waiting an extra 10 minutes to talk to the Palos Park Police Department. And the second thing um, I want to remind you of is people say, well, how should I call? Well, there's these three magic numbers on your phone. And even though your mother taught you that you could only call when the house was burning down or Uncle Joe was being threatened by a crowbar in the driveway, call 911. The 911 operators don't mind. We certainly don't mind. And it's the quickest way to get our attention. And it also provides information for us that it's easy to get by the fact that you're using the 911 system. So typically we can tell where you are without you telling us where you are. So again, if there's ever anything, you get someone that comes up to the house, they say they have to do an inspection, or they notice that X, Y, or Z, you've got a shingle missing on the roof, uh, your downspouts become disconnected, please, please, please just give us a call and we'd be happy to check these people out. The other issues are, um, uh, people that uh, posing as new neighbors or as contractors um, uh, and they'll come up to you and say hey we just moved in uh, you know can you show us where your water shut off is because we're not sure where our water shut off is well first of all their water shut off in their house it's going to be in a different place than your water shut off is in your house but second of all it's a ruse they're trying to get in your home and uh, typically, if you go in the front door, someone goes around, unlocks the back door, somebody comes through the back door. So again, I wouldn't let anybody in my house that I didn't know, and I would demand that they have appropriate identification if they tell me that they're representing somebody. The village water department always has identification. The people who are working in the village have their identification. So again, if you have any questions or any issues, just call 911, we'll come by. So I want to remind people of the Stop It program. If there's anything that we can do for you, something that you see that doesn't look right, I can't tell you the number of times that we've gone to the scene of a crime and while we're trying to do our investigation, someone from across the street comes up and says, you know, I saw a van out in front of this house and I know those people are on vacation. It would have been nice to know that when you saw it. So again, don't, one of the, biggest conversations we had at lunch the other day was I don't feel comfortable calling 911. You pay for the 911 service. You pay for the Palos Park Police. Feel free to take advantage of what you're paying for and just call and we'll be there to help you sort things through. Chief Miller, anything you care to add? Thank you for your service, sir. That concludes my report. Thank you, Commissioner Polk. Accounts and Finances does not have a report this evening, so we'll move on to the mayor's report. I have two items. The first one is the approval of the fourth amendment to the village manager agreement. The original agreement was dated April 26, 2010. The first amendment to the village manager agreement was dated May 23, 2011. Uh, the second amendment to the village manager agreement was dated July 13th, 2015. And the third amendment to the village manager agreement was approved and dated July 8th, 2019. This last amended agreement expired May 8th, 2023. The proposed fourth amendment changes one, the effective date to read June 12th, 2023 through May 10th, 2027. Number two, recognizes the salary that 
has increased annually since the original agreement, an average of 2.70% per year. And number three, recognize the annual motor vehicle expense increase since the original agreement. I would entertain a motion at this time. I will second. Oh, somebody has to make it. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. I move to approve the Fourth Amendment to the village manager agreement. And I will second that. Any questions? If not, hearing none, uh, clerk, will you please call the roll? Uh, Commissioner Wade? Yes. Commissioner Patan? Yes. Commissioner Polk? Yep. And Mayor Milovich Walters? Yes. Thank you. And the next item on my agenda is regarding something I'm very excited about, the creation of the Newcomers Welcoming Ad Hoc Committee. So the Village Council has created an ad hoc committee in accordance with the authority granted under Chapter 288 of the Village Code. The assigned objectives of this ad hoc committee will be to encourage existing Palos Park home homeowners and businesses to create a welcoming environment for new residents to the community. The ad hoc committee will make recommendations to the Mayor and Village Council on various steps to make transitioning into our community easier for newcomers to help residents become active members of the community through information dissemination, coming together at village events, forming friendships, participation in philanthropic activities, and volunteerism. The ad hoc committee will also inform the council on promotion of positive aspects of the community and what areas to concentrate specified resources to boost the attractiveness of the communities to those that are looking to locate or relocate to Palos Park. The impetus for this committee. Palos Park is a unique community where families can live, work, and play. And over the past several years, the Palos Park community has experienced many new families moving in, many of whom do not have a previous connection to the area. The ad hoc committee will develop various strategies to welcome newcomers into the community and help them learn of all the various amenities that make this community great how to become a more active member of the community, to help residents come together to get to know one another, promote friendships among all residents, also advise of various outreach activities using available media resources to assist in promoting the positive aspects of our community. The goal is to assist in further cultivating the reputation of Palos Park as a high quality residential community with excellent housing, excellent public and private school choices, numerous amenities, and small but varied business community. Develop strategies to welcome newcomers of new members of the Pales Park community, making sure they have the information needed to create friendships by participating in social, educational, and charitable activities. Upon consensus of the ad hoc community, committee, recommending various strategies to the village council, that would build upon the welcoming character of the community. This ad hoc committee will cease to exist upon acceptance of the committee's final report by the council, to the council. Membership. Voting members of the ad hoc committee will consist of five to seven members, and we'd like three of them to be from the residential community of Incorporated Pills Park one or two representatives from the business community of Incorporated Pales Park, a realtor whose residence is in Pales Park, a member of the community who has a business background in marketing or promotions, and a member of the community who serves on the District 230 High School Board or the District 118 Elementary School Board. The chair and vice chair shall be named at the time that the members of the ad hoc committee are announced and non-voting members of this committee will be uh, myself, and there will be a staff liaison, and if I cannot attend, maybe one of the other commissioners will. Um, this is something that I've felt would be a great addition to the village, uh, allowing these committee members to even go and greet the people at their home, provide them with actual physical copies of information. Um, so I'm hoping that the rest of the board feels the same way as I do, and I would, if you'd like to discuss it, otherwise I'll entertain a motion. I would be happy to move on, to approve the creation of an ad hoc committee on welcoming new members to the village of Palos Park. Uh, I'll second that. 
Well, hearing a motion and a second, would the clerk please call the roll? Yes, uh, Commissioner Patan? Yes. Commissioner Wade? Yes. Commissioner Polk? Yep. And Mayor Milovich Walters? Yes. And now that we've approved the ad hoc committee, I will mention how you can try to become a member if you are so interested. As of right now, the best way to do that is to email the, myself uh, at nmilovich-walters at palespark.org a letter telling me why you'd like to participate in this committee, what you think you can bring to the table, not a formal resume, but a little bit of background on yourself. And um, myself and the commissioners will pick the committee members once we have everyone applying that would like to apply. Uh, we will be posting it on social media, so you can get all this information there again. And uh, hopefully there are many of you out there that would like to participate. Uh, moving on to the clerk's report. Um, I have no official report, but I would like to just make a comment about the Memorial Day celebration Please. that we had. It was very crowded, and um, a lot of elderly gentlemen were there. Mike's speech was very good, very inspirational. But I did speak to some of the gentlemen there, and they so appreciate being remembered that we do this for them. I mean, they have the greatest generation. And just it was kind of nice to just talk to them. Boy, I really appreciate what you guys were doing. It was so nice. Thank yeah, you. Uh, that turnout was phenomenal. Yeah, yeah it was great. Stephen did a really good job of planning it, and the pamphlet was really nice. It was really, and the weather was nice. So it was just really a nice day. I just wanted to make comment on that. And that concludes my report. I appreciate that you were attending, and Mike, thank you for, for uh, running that that day for me. It was out of town. It's the first one I've missed in, like, I don't know how many years. I was very sad about that, but I'm glad I saw it was a great turnout. So thank you to everyone. Uh, manager's report. Nothing this evening. Thank you. Excellent. Announcements. I just have a few. Uh, the Zoning Board of Appeals meeting will hold a public hearing on Wednesday, June 14th at 7.30 here at the Captor Administrative Center regarding ZBA case 2023-01. An application has been filed requesting variation from requirements of section 1268.02F, side yards, and section 1268.02G, rear yards, to permit the construction of a new single-family residence where the required corner side yard setback is 50 feet, the applicant is proposing a corner side yard setback of 36.15 feet. Where the required rear yard setback is 50 feet, the applicant is proposing a rear yard setback of 27.13 feet. Mm -hmm. The subject property is commonly known as 11500 South Elbridge Avenue, also known as 85th Court in Palos Park. The Palos Fine Arts Committee meeting has been canceled for Thursday, June 15th. I wonder why. That's concert in the park that they're hosting. Uh, the next scheduled meeting will be Thursday, July 20th. The plan commission meeting is canceled for June 15th as there are no agenda items. The historic preservation committee will not meet on Tuesday, June 20th as there are no agenda items. And the library board will hold two special meetings this week, Wednesday and Thursday, this week at 4.45 at the library. Also, the library board will hold their regular meeting on Wednesday, June 21st at 5 p.m. in the library. Now is the citizen and visitor comment period. Would anybody like to address the council? Seeing no takers, I'd like to entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. I second that motion. Hearing a motion and a second, would the clerk please call the roll? Yes, uh, Commissioner Wade. Yes. Commissioner Patan. Yes. Commissioner Polk. Yep. And Mayor Milovich-Walters. Yes. Thank you all, and good evening. Be safe out there.